hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to learn uh, the bitbucket repository api so we are going to play with it and we'll see like how we can use the bitbucket repository api so in my previous uh, video we have seen like how to generate an access token of any bitbucket account then how to generate access token using refresh token and we have seen that uh, how to get a user details of uh, the particular access token so let's uh, directly jump to the uh, bitbucket documentation and let's see like how we can play with it so i so th this is a bitbucket repository api the repository and the endpoint url is 2.0 repository so what we are going to do we'll just i'll just copy it and let's see how it works so i have copied it now the api end url point is this so i have uh, explained everything like from where i have got this url so if you are new to this channel you can you know visit my previous video so i'll just copy it paste it and i'll just hit enter okay so now i have logged in with my another account in this uh, browser so let's see what i get so I get some kind of response. Let's see what it is exactly. So it gave me some uh, JSON kind of thing, and there are some repository list. Okay, uh, and this is open symphony. Let's work. Okay. So th these are the you know uh, repositories. Now from where these repositories are coming? okay so these repositories are coming from all over the world these, these are the public repository which are available on the bitbucket so that's why it gives me some kind of random uh, you know uh, repository li list and th these repositories are not belong to me so if you see over here that uh, the owner of this repository is some uh, let's say this is open symphony okay so this this is the public repository that's why we are able to see it if so you can see is private is false okay so these are the public repository that's why we are able to see it now we'll see like how to generate how to get a repository of specific you know account so we have a token of this account and what i'll do i'll just uh, Put the access token. Format of it. I'll copy the access token. And okay. yeah. So I'll try to hit it. Okay. Now I got some kind error like. Uh, what it is saying that your credential lack one or more required privileges for okay detail granted account and we are requiring repository so if you remember like i have uh, while you know generating the access token i just added a one scope that is the granted scope in the account <coughs> that is account scope and for the this api we need the repository access so now let's see how we can achieve this so i'll just jump back to the my another account and i'll open the OAuth consumer so this was the consumer which we have created so i will just edit it and i'll one more extra scope and that is repository save okay and uh, i'll save it come confirm okay the credentials are still so let's see whether the credential has changed or not so it's still the same okay <laughs> if you see that the, the key is the same with this key, previous key okay now again let's try to hit the api whether the, that is working or not okay so now it's saying me access token expert why because like we have just updated the uh, you know uh, 
our consumer so we need to again create an access token for it so I, what i'll do i'll just open the postman again i'll i'll go to the <coughs> I I'll, I will try with first the refresh token whether that is working or not. I just hit again again. This is showing me the invalid request. So what exactly happened here? Uh, when we you know update our consumer, it reset everything. So we need what we need to do over here. We need to reauthorize everything. So let's jump back to the documentation again. So what was that? Now this was the URL. I just copy it, open it in a browser, and it with my client ID. Client ID. Okay. Now this is asking me two permissions. One is radio account information, and another one is radio repository right i'll just grant it so i got one code i'll copy this paste it in a thing authorization token okay let's see what is the grant like for requesting the token authorization code okay. <coughs> yeah so now we got the token and uh, what we'll do we'll just copy it and paste uh, it yeah. hit enter ok so now i got some kind of uh, repository again so there is something wrong You can see over here that my repository list are you know present in this. So <coughs> this is the basic way to you know get the repository list of specific account and uh, you can apply some other uh, filters as well like there is present in this repository and uh, let's say if uh, if you just wanted to you know because if you are using Bitbucket, you can be a part of any organization or anything. So you can add some kind of uh, membership uh, role over here. So let's see how it works. I have a role and I just add it. Okay, now it, this API is again response is updated. Now this will show me only the reports for which I am an admin. Okay. So yeah, this is the full name of the repo. If you see the owner, owner is me. And again, yeah, owner is me. So this will only show me uh, show the repo list which which is having the owner of this token. Okay, you can add any other things like contributor, as well, member, owner, and admin. And you can apply sorting and the you know query string as well. So this is the way like you can pull the repository list from the Bitbucket API and you can play around it. So that's, that's it for this. Uh, I hope this will help you. And
So if you have any doubts regarding it, you can just uh, add the comment in the com comment section. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video.